The South Korean government has announced some measures to cope with the demise of Hanjin Shipping, the country's biggest shipping company. Nine government ministries met on Sunday to discuss further countermeasures. Our Ian Shin has the details. Officials from nine government ministries met Sunday morning to try and assess the damage stemming from the collapse of Hanjin Shipping and come up with measures to limit its impact. They looked at the potential harm the sudden demise of the world's seventh largest shipping company could do to domestic and overseas businesses. At this moment, what's of utmost importance is to ensure the safe arrival and unloading of all the shipments now underway. We're going to try our best and work with government agencies to minimize the damage. And for that, we also need Hanjin and other shipping and logistics companies to cooperate to the best of their ability. The country's financial authorities are set to provide one-on-one -on -one counseling to businesses affected by delays among Hanjin's cargo vessels. For its part, the Korea Customs Service has announced it will work in emergency mode around the clock and simplify clearance for cargo ships. Also at Korea's ports, the lay time for loading and unloading goods will be extended to as long as a year. To make up for the tonnage lost with Hanjin, Korea's second biggest shipper, Hyundai Merchant Marine, plans to add four ships on its routes to the U.S. and nine on routes to Europe starting this coming week. Meanwhile, the Foreign Affairs and Trade Ministry will do what it can to ensure the protection of Hanjin's vessels in 43 countries around the world, where it filed for a prohibition against seizure. However, some Hanjin customers and company officials have voiced concerns whether the measures are enough, with demand set to peak ahead of the holiday retail season. Yin Shin, Arirang News.